I have fabulous memories of CEF. Um, from my earliest recollections, actually, I went to five-day clubs in the summer. I was with my best friend Danny from down the road. He invited me. Um, we went to multiple five-day clubs, sometimes many in the same summer. <laughs> and my favorite memory of five-day clubs in the summer was definitely the missionary story. And having the missionary teachers, they were younger, sometimes they are a little bit more cool, and I liked that. They were a little bit closer to my age, and so they had a different enthusiasm than sometimes Good News Club did during the school year. So I think my favorite part about the summer was the ice cream treats at the end and the missionary story. So those are my favorite memories of five-day clubs. And I got involved in CEF probably early 60s. And for some time, I had our Good News Club right here in my living room. And I remember very well that my husband rigged me up a, a flannel board and we stood it up on the, uh, the uh, piano player. And we'd, we'd gather the children from the area in and whoever we could get to come. And uh, it, was, it was just uh, a nice, nice place to reach the kids. I think my best memories of Good News Club is that it was another, another touch point in my life about Jesus. In the work that we do right now, I realize how important it is, whether you go to a church or are involved in a one or are involved in extracurricular things, to have as many possible touch points for your children as possible. But since I'm here at the nursing home, there was a nurse's aide came up and uh, she said, you know, you don't know me. I was a Margaret girl. And she said, I remember you. She said, I was this small and I was kneeling down by your piano and I was asking the Lord to come into my heart and I got saved. A little Cammy, you know, she's just small when that happened to her, but not too small to receive the Lord. 